Norwood Viviano and from Plainwell, Michigan. My recent work has been an exploration of cities um, in the Midwest and looking at the industry, the historical industry of the area and the new industry and how that has affected population in those regions. I use a lot of three-dimensional computer modeling, so I use newer technology as a tool for exploring these ideas, which allows me to work on a small scale and also on a larger scale, so I can manipulate scale very easily in the software. And then I also um, output those um, diagrams and models um, in a rep prototyping process, which is a 3D printing process. And then in the end, a lot of the objects are made in a traditional cast metal uh, foundry process. This week at the museum, I plan on focusing on uh, a series of population graphs from cities all over America. And what I was really interested in as I started to do the research for the project was looking at the cities that had the most extreme population shifts. So the overall length of the forms is based on time, and then the overall width is based on population density of the cities. Um, the, uh, the the biggest um, sort of factor or variable in the project is trying to keep everything proportional so that New York, which has a population of 8 million, is in an overall proportion with a city like Flint, Michigan that has a population of 110,000. And so they are essentially a series of very simple or minimal forms but when they all come together as an installation, we'll be able to see how the various regions have changed over time. So the pieces represent time and population change. On the first day of my residency, we focused on trying to use the computer drawings, um, which have a lot of uh, schematics and measurements and figuring out how to make the, something really angular and crisp in a very fluid process. Um, which we found to be pretty challenging, but we ended up with some nice results. Now we're going to be adding color as another factor to help to describe the change, which happens both in color now and in the form. So we're exploring the Encamo process as a way of kind of describing that point in time when the shift happened. So we're going to use two different colors within the form to kind of talk about growth and decline. I've known a lot of the visiting artists over the last few years and all I hear is fantastic things about the team and how focused and energetic and dynamic they are. And that's what I found yesterday, was that they're just incredibly focused, they have incredibly high standards, um, and they're trying to make work that is pretty challenging, but also enjoying the fact that it's challenging. <laughs> 